I guess my view on this around when I think about optimization, it's around, you know, how do we do this stuff efficiently? I think AI is very expensive to get into. You know, you need a lot of infrastructure in place to start running, uh, you know, AI experiments. So I think a big barrier for adoption for most organizations is that they have to invest before they can actually start doing anything with AI. So I think one of the things that can really help with that um, is cloud, cloud technologies. So one of the things that cloud does is obviously uh, democratizes the use of artificial intelligence. So most cloud service providers, they will offer machine learning and AI tooling. They'll offer data and analytics tooling. And I think through this, the organizations can really ramp up their use of um, machine learning and AI techniques and really drive that forward. So I think that's going to be one of the key things that will drive that. I think the challenge around that is things like data, um, data, data privacy concerns, data sovereignty concerns. I think all of those are valid concerns. I think it's looking at what is the compensating control that is currently in place and what does it need to be in cloud. So I guess in terms of changing roles, I think you know, a lot of the mundane tasks are going to be automated. You know, so people that are in operations roles and are button pushing or running procedures, you know, those jobs are going to go. Um, but at the same time, it's, with anything disruptive, any disruptive technology, um, you disrupt one market, you create another one. So yes, that some of these jobs are going to go, but there's going to be a whole bunch of other new, interesting jobs that are going to be created. And you know, some of those people that have been doing the procedural stuff, some of those skills may be used in helping to train some of the AI models. I really want to get uh, Google's name out there. You know, you know, we are heavily, we are a data analytics company. We have machine learning and AI baked into all of our consumer products. And what we're really trying to do is kind of expose those and make those available for companies such, such as those in the financial services to solve the same problems we solve. So that's really why I'm here. It's kind of to build the Google awareness.